Charlie, welcome to the Copacabana. I was gonna start singing the Barry Manilow song there. That was honestly like when I, before I started this video, I thought, oh, I know it'll be fun. I'll, I'll start by singing the, the Barry Manilow song, Copacabana. Um, but then I got nervous, I guess, because I, I just can't do it. At the Copa. There it is. Thank Copa you. Cabana. You never ever let me uh, let me down. Da, 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 da. Um, that's where this game is set. We're playing Firefall. At least that's where I'm at in Firefall. At the in the beginning stages of Firefall is at the Copa Copa Cabana, uh, the the hottest spot north of Havana. And um, I don't know, Charlie. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm about like two hours deep. I've sort of bounced around the uh, a couple of the different uh, classes in the game. This is a uh, Red Fives, I think, I think it's fair to say, fairly long in production, uh, shooter role playing online game, mm -hmm. um, and I I liked what I played of it in the uh, beta, which I only played a little bit of, and at events, I remember it always having a pretty uh, leaving a pretty positive impression on me. Uh, but now that I have access to like the full thing, this is me very fruitlessly trying to uh, jetpack. <laughs> Uh, rock climb, uh, which you're, you're, you're having the worst time with that cliff face. It I'm didn't, so sorry. It didn't go very well for me. Um, now that I have like the full game and I have like unrestricted access to playing it, I kind of find myself not really wanting to. Um, All right, well, what what has got you down about this game? I'm here to troubleshoot your experience, Griffin. Tell, I'll tell, tell you, me uh, maybe, maybe uh, here's the thing. Like, I like the controls of it. I like all of the, there's a ton of different customization options uh, for these different classes, all of the equipment. Um, most of it isn't, like, gated to a class. So, like, if you mm -hmm. find, like, an assault rifle, you can equip it no matter what uh, class you're using. Those classes are represented by these different battle frames. So right now I'm rocking a recon one, um, mm -hmm. mostly because I wanted to try it out. It was like the one that I haven't really spent a lot of time with, but uh, you have, this is like the class that actually has like uh, zoom scopes on their weapons. They have a stealth ability. They have a later on like a grenade thing that they can throw. Um, mm -hmm. And you are also making liberal use of your jetpack here, and I think that's something that's common to all the various battle frames. It's uh, oh yeah, sure, and it's it's uh, to me it's the best part about the game. Like it has that, um, it has that tribes sort of locomotion feel to it. Of like, especially once you use the jetpacks in tandem with like maintaining your downward momentum as you slide down a hill. Like that's mm -hmm. some that's some sick shit. Like I I think it controls fairly well. The problem is that for the past two hours in this like introductory part of the game i've done what you're seeing now no, no kidding like 12 different times and it's like all that i've done is gotten gotten a job and the job is go kill these uh bugs or crabs or uh chitin based knee-high <laughs> monsters there is not a vertebrate in the entire no. first four hours of the game, no. I swear to God. Uh, and, like, this this is cool and everything, like, especially when you are fighting against a big wave with somebody else and you're, like, jetpacking in the air and, like, blasting them with your special abilities. And, like, it's got, like, an EDF feel to it, I guess. Um, okay. But I, I want to do literally anything else. And, like, there there are – there's, like, a drop ship that will take you to instances. Um there is like a board that tells you like upcoming story quests and I'm just like not high enough level. And the only thing I have found that I can level myself on is these crab monster guys. And like, I'm just, I'm kind of bored with killing them. I, I, I'm not sure that I can troubleshoot quite that problem because I'm, I'm running into the same problem. It is a lot of repetitive mission design. If you could even call it mission design, it's just a lot of go here, kill this, come back. And I know I know uh, that like MMOs are, are, are not that this is strictly an MMO, but I, I mean, it certainly has that um, inspiration. I think a lot of the talent at Red 5 was brought over from former MMO developers that wanted to like fix the problems that they saw in the what used to be like the slow and clunky days of MMOs, right? When like mm -hmm. World of Warcraft and EQ2 were duking it out. Um, but like this this genre, here I am again. I'm sorry, everybody. I needed like a, um, I needed like a, what are, a pitten? What are those things called that you jam into the, uh, I don't I know. I believe it's right, a python. Yeah, Pi python? python. I don't know. Sure. I just, I only know that word from Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've only read it, never said it out loud. So that was a fun experience for me. Um, <clears throat> I feel, I feel like this genre has like gone places since this game was was first in development, and it, it's been in development for so long that I feel like worried that maybe 
it's fallen behind a little bit, especially in the like introductory part of the game, because I feel like that is one thing that MMOs have figured out. Like we need to make the first hour or two of the game not boring. Like we have to make our player not wait to get into the dope shit. We got to give it to them like from the start. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's, right now, this game has not done that really at all. Yeah, it's really rough at the start. The whole tutorial maybe lasts about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even then, that tutorial, though, is really basic it's and really so, bare bones. I thought, like, no kidding, it was a joke. It's like you're running down a path, and as you're running down the path, you get these little cutscenes as you run by a different type of battle frame fighting a monster, and somebody's like, well, that's a bio, that's a biotech, and they do healing. And then you run by a, a, a dreadnought, and you're like, "Oh, that's a dreadnought. And they're heavy." It's, it's like it's like the Hall of Presidents. It's of that's exactly what it is. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, you're wearing like cargo shorts and a Hawaiian shirt because you're not. I actually like that a lot. You're not like you don't have a battle frame yet, and so you're uh, <laughs> you're like wearing your your parrot head civvies. <laughs> uh, which I'm into. And your, and your boat shoes. Yeah. It's got some good, like, I, ideas. Like, the I like the option to switch between uh, classes at will. You just have to go to a battle frame station in the middle of Copacabana. Um, and, and you can, you know, basically pop that out. But that person just dropped the coolest grenade I've ever seen and killed the whole planet. Um, I don't really have access to that yet. Um, there's also, like like I said, the locomotion stuff is cool. Uh, when you're in Copacabana and you have like a mission that's super far away, you can go to a, a glider station, which I used earlier, that lets you, you know, cross, you know, miles at a time, flying through the air in a very like pilot wings, hang glider-esque uh, style. Uh, mm -hmm. I dig that, like it's cool. You don't have that on the way back, which sucks, like having to run for five or six minutes just to get back to the place you need to be to turn in your quest is like kind of a bummer especially since there's not like a ton of stuff to do in between yeah it's uh, the the mission getting to a mission is very downhill but getting back from a mission it's all uphill dude and it's yeah uh, yeah it's just not very it's not very fun sometimes you'll run across the occasional event uh like a dynamic event uh, which is sort of a becoming a staple i think in in mmo design uh, and, uh, I mean, right, you have like a, you'll have like a broken thumper, which is like the resource extraction unit. And you'll yeah. say, Oh, there's this broken thumper. You've got to go if defend you want, it. You can stick around and yeah. defend it and help it get back with its resources. Which, which like I've, I've run into like maybe five or six of those in the entire time I've been playing. And every time it's like stand here and de de defend against waves of knee high chitin based monsters. Mm. It, it's like, it's, it's what I was doing before. It's what I was doing it's, while I was on my way here. <laughs> um, I found one, and I, I have to say, like, that the design stuff for the introduction, at least, is not uh, really grabbing me. There have also been several uh, missions I just couldn't complete because of oh, a bug. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, actually, while I was trying to capture twice in a row, uh, mm. I was doing a mission where I had to go meet, I had to, like, go fly out, uh, you know, a country mile away from Copacabana. Which was easy, got him a glider and did it. And then when I got there, the NPC I was supposed to talk to to start the mission just wasn't there. He just was not there. And so I just, well, I'm just running, I had to go I'm back running, and abandon the issue, abandon the, the quest altogether. I, I'm running into an issue where the NPCs are there and they're not supposed to be there. <laughs> like, oh, interesting. There's somebody, that's, there's somebody that's already in the middle of the mission, and I, like, show up and, like, where's where's this man's wife? We've got to find her. Like, she's, she's right there. I also found this Actually, underground I found this underground bunker, and that was awesome because I was just, like, running around. I found this underground bunker, and they told me to, like, retrieve a data pad there. And so I fought my way through the bunker, and I was fighting against actual humans, which was very exciting. Uh, and then I found the data pad, and there was literally no way to pick it up. So I just, just could look at it, and I still had the mission... Uh, and I guess I just have to abandon that mission, too, because I, like, I restarted the game a few times, and this was, like, while I was recording, so I didn't really want to show that, uh, exciting footage of me, like, for ten minutes, like, walking over this data pad and hitting the action button over it and uh, pressing literally every button on my keyboard to get it working. Oh, I've just unlocked a new ability, which is very exciting. Um, it's just, like... I, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's just not really grabbing me. And and I feel like this game now occupies a space that is so competitive. I mean, it already was competitive. But now, not only is it competitive, like, it has advanced. It has evolved. Like, people are doing really, really smart, clever, well-executed stuff in the MMO space. Especially in the, like, MMO hybrid genre space. 
Mm -hmm. I, I'm I am with the the little time that I've spent playing Firefall, like I'm not sure it can hang. Um, mm, that, that's rough. Can you talk a little bit because you've played you've played uh, you told me about a dozen or so hours, um, so you've seen more. Like what am I? What haven't I gotten to yet? Well, the the next region has a lot fewer chitin based enemy groups there's actual other uh, humanoids people with spines that you're playing against um, okay unfortunately the combat doesn't get all that much more varied i'm yeah. gonna be sad to report um it's it's a lot more the same what i'm finding later on in the game is that kind of it's all very open everything that you do is outdoors which is really refreshing yeah. but that means that like uh, certain instances just kind of drop out of thin air as you're walking by. It's like, yeah. all right, you're going to go over to the this area where the, the the this rebel group has set up propaganda, and you're like literally walking along a beach, and propaganda falls out of the sky like an anvil in yeah. front of you. And like, there's the propaganda. Go ahead, shut that off. It, it's very incongruous how <laughs> how things are structured and and presented to the player. The gameplay, though, I'm really digging the assault class. Okay. It's, it, I'm jumping around. I've got my assault battle frame all pimped out. I'm dropping plasma bombs on people. And, you know, five, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes at the stretch, it's a really good way to spend a, you know, monthly uh, polygon call. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that out loud. I, I, I actually, oh, did I? Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I dig the uh, engineer class. They have, uh, I mean, pretty engineer staple like turrets and force fields that they can drop down. They have like an electricity beam gun that has a secondary function that heals their their devices on the ground. Again, not like really groundbreaking stuff, but um, that stuff actually feels really nice. I, I tell you, I think what I, is going to keep me playing for at least a little bit longer is I haven't actually there. I was just shooting at that thing and it wasn't taking any damage, which was a bummer. Um, I actually played, I haven't played any um, player versus player stuff in this final release, but I did at an event and I remember really liking it um, because that uh, tribes-esque multiplayer is kind of designed for, for PvP. Uh, there's a spine. There's a spine. Not him. Not Dr. Goatee, but that, that guy who's standing right next to him. Um, stand still. Jesus. Um, so yeah, I'll probably dip into the player versus player a bit because I, I imagine that will be a lot less repetitive because I'll be fighting against um, people with brains um, and not just like spider nervous systems. So... I don't know. I, I'm definitely gonna like give it more of a fair shot, but I, it's leaving me kind of cold. Well, especially for a free-to-play game, they've got to really grab people in that first hour of exactly. experience because it might not get much more than that. It's a shame. I think I actually, in an interview with uh, one of the developers of this game, they talked about how it's a, a friction-free genre. Like, if 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 somebody wants to stop playing a free-to-play game, they don't have that native guilt of, well, I spent sixty bucks on this. Might as well stick with it. Um, and so they need to make the game even better or else uh, people are just gonna walk away because they have no reason not to. It's not like there's other, it's not like there's not other like free to play MMOs for them to go out and check out. Um, and I don't know that like this is really grabbing me in the way that they, they need to, but we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit deeper uh, things get, get better. Here's one of those uh, dynamic missions where me and just a few people that were in the area took down a bunch of crabs, a bunch, bunch of spider, spider crab things. <laughs> this motorcycle has crabs. We've got to. It's yeah. We have crabs. to. We have to fumigate it somehow. I just. Uh, I, I just want to shoot other things. That crab's made of ice. I've seen that one before too. I don't know. Um. Anyway, this is Firefall. It's uh, free to play. You can get it on Steam or PC or. Uh, uh, I think it's just one of those two so yeah level five climbing that ladder <laughs> Charlie. I, I would kind of i would kind of love to play this on a console honestly the controls seem to to work well I'm, uh, yeah I'm kind of i am disappointed it's not on my playstation 4 or my xbox one there's some weird stuff i am playing it uh using a 360 controller that i have plugged into my pc that's sort of like my go-to thing for controlling stuff uh but there is a lot of interface stuff that you cannot navigate using the controller including like whenever you complete a mission you have to use your mouse like left click on the mouse to see what you got you can't press mm -hmm. it's pretty bad yeah uh, you can't even get to half of your hotkeys yeah from the controller nope. to my knowledge you cannot which seems poorly poorly thought out yeah so that's firefall um charlie thanks for uh, walking me through it and i'll uh Always a pleasure. and thanks for watching everybody we'll see you back here real soon bye <laughs>